So let's say you have two vectors, that's two arrows, and you want to add them together. How do you do that? All right, well, here's one vector. We'll call that vector uh, u, like using u for vectors. And let's grab another vector. I might use a different color for the other vector. Uh, let's call this one vector v. Now, if I want to add those two vectors together, it's pretty straightforward. Um, we've got uh, a head here and a tail here, a head here and a tail here. Now, if I want to do u plus v, a little bit of drawing here. I'm going to add them graphically. It's going to be equal to the vector u. So I'm going to do my best to draw u exactly the same. You've got rulers and protractors and things, so you can make sure that the angles and stuff are correct. Um, and then I'm going to take the, the tail of V and put it here. Try to draw it pretty much the same. Okay, so that's vector U. This is vector V. And this is vector u plus v. It's pretty handy um, because let's say that somebody was walking through the woods and they walked in this direction and then they changed the direction and they walked in this direction their position or the distance and the direction from the starting position is this new vector uv and they could walk negative uv or u plus v on the way home and get to where they were going uh, so there's sort of a application of this adding vectors together what if we were doing v plus u now i wonder does it matter if we do this uh, in a different order, will we get the same result? Because we do have to do it in that order. So, V first. V. It should be straight. And then uh, U, which should look something like this. Uh, we're getting close, okay. And then... Adding the vectors is just taking the, the tail of the first vector and joining it to head of the second vector. Okay, so in this case, that was vector v, this is vector u, and this is vector u plus v. Or oh, I guess we can do it. Uh, no, let's leave it like that. You can see, or at least to a first approximation, that u plus v is going in the same direction. Sorry, my bad. That's v plus u. You can see that u plus v is going in the same direction as v plus u. And you can also see that v plus u is about the same size as u plus v because I've been drawing this without a ruler. So, we can say that u plus v is equal to v plus u, which is important. We can say that it doesn't matter what order we add things together in, we'll get the same answer. So, just while I was away, I just changed this to vectors addition graphically, uh, because we're going to work out how to add it with like numbers and stuff later on. But we're just doing it graphically for now. Last step, subtracting vectors. Now, the reason we're doing it in the addition video is because if you want to subtract vectors, what you can really write it as is u plus negative v. u plus negative v. All right, so let's look at what that would look like. Uh, now, u is fairly straightforward. u is just this, this, this pink one that we've been doing the whole time. Like that seems to be getting longer every time, but you get the idea. That's u. Now, negative v plus negative v. We need to know what negative v is. Now, negative v. If this is v, negative v is just the other direction. If you were a, a bushwalker and you walked in this direction, you walked in a v vector, then to get home again, you have to go negative v.
that's negative v like that. Now, because I'm doing u plus negative v, essentially now I can just take negative v, which looks like that, and join it onto there. Unfortunately, I haven't left myself a lot of space. Okay, so taking negative v, moving it over to here. Which means, if that's negative v, this new line from head, from tail to head is u minus v. Alright, so pretty straightforward. The first thing you do is first write the first one, then you take the next one and place it on top of that, then you draw a line from the beginning to the end. If it's negative, flip it. 